tons of teams trying to keep this team in contention. Then for the visiting Rams, you know, they found out the hard way that you need a lot of good fortune when you win a Super Bowl title. And when you don't get that good fortune as they didn't last year, things can crash down to earth in a hurry. And none of us really saw this coming. Remember, they were 12 and 5 the year they won the Super Bowl, went 5 and 12 last year. Somehow I think this Rams team is better than what we saw last season, adding in a lot of new pieces in order to try and get back to the top of the NFC West. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now the veteran workhorse, here's James Conner. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D tackle position in order to make that play. Now second and nine. Throwing now is Murray. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. But you know it's never easy to get Kyler Murray down to the ground and to do it with a sack on their first drive. What a great tone setter defensively. Oh, and no one's celebrating more than the defensive coordinator because that's all he's preached all week long. Keep him hemmed in. Don't let him get into the open field and create big plays with his feet. To get him down in the pocket early, oh, that's got to feel great for them. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded at the 20. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They begin the drive with Williams. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Again, it's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. On second down, here's Stafford. In trouble taken down. It's Zayvon Collins who got in there to get the sack. Pressure could come from all over when they're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. Now they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Greg George, deep for Arizona. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. The drive will start with Connor. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving. Get your body. And yeah, this throw will be intercepted. And yeah, this one will be brought back to the 22. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. After the interception, here's Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here, getting three. And he's going to be taken down here. A 
sack back at the 32. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. They kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Screen play set up for Williams. And he'll go down at the 28. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. So now the Rams send out the field goal team here. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. They start the drive with Connor. This one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, it's Connor. Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Murray again, this is Connor. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Holding offense. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right oh. tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draw and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Blake Gillikin on a punt here as he'll send this one away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. To see if they can do better here on this drive. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. Off of play action, here's Stafford. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Stafford. Right back to Atwell. That's complete. And he's brought down. This duo locked in 14 yards there. And a first down. Back to throw, Stafford. And he whips that one incomplete there. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And give him 
six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Stafford now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. And now Stafford's going to move him around. They'll look to throw here on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. It's a gain of 14 down to the 14. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on the flash when he broke out of there, and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he's got it. That's cup for a Ram touchdown. A great play there. Laying himself out in the end zone. And the Rams are able to extend their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10 0. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Here's Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Here's Murray. He's going deep for Brown. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. This is Connor running right. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded just inside the 30. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Stafford. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. 
Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Here's Ethan Evans now. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And here comes now a hit and a loose football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it. Somehow the ball finds his way back to him. The tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Murray. And his throw is incomplete. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Both teams finishing up their halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football at State Farm Stadium. And for the call, let's head back out to Glendale and hand it over to Brandon God. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Williams going to get it again on second down. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. A little juke. And taken down just shy of the 40. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 41 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little pressure. Comes and the Cardinals bring him down. Zabin Collins able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield that can hurt. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a serious So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On first down, Stafford here. Flush to his right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Here's second and ten. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Rams take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And yeah, that makes our score 17-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. Shoves him aside. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. On first and 10, here's Murray. Caught by Wilson. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 41-yard line. Now Murray. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To throw, it's Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 45-yard line. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Now Murray again. Avoids him at the 40. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. They'll get that one complete to Connor. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Murray. A short one here caught by McBride. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. Marquise Brown, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the cards are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. Oh, this is blocked. All right, so this one not quite over yet. Back to a two-score game, CD. Yeah, and you've still got four-plus minutes to go, so when you think about comebacks, it's happened before. Now, it hasn't happened often, but you've got to think to yourself, let's be the next great comeback story and play this one out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. And you'd have to figure, he got the ball quite a bit last drive. You see the numbers that now they're looking to choose some clock. He's going to get it even more here. I would think so because they have momentum going in their direction. 
They moved the ball that way on their last drive, and you know they're trying to lock this game down. But also, don't be surprised if they mix in a few passes along the way as well so they can't just totally key on him on this drive. Interesting. We'll see if that happens. Either way, looking to hold this lead. Let's see if they can do it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. There he goes left side. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 64 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Play action. Stafford. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. On second and 10, Stafford. That'll be caught. It's Cup. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, out and back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try a out of stand before they're backed up even further. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals' 39. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his face. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. That's a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. They stay on the ground. This time it's Williams. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Kyron Williams with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to 18 now. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. 
Murray now on first down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Murray, he'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Shotgun now for Murray. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing on second and long. Murray. And the pressure gets to him again. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better, had time to survey the field, and still couldn't find an open receiver. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Oh, and that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Just all around a solid performance. And now they've got the three-score lead here, Charles, so the final seconds of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and this one, they've been in control, haven't they? They've earned this victory. No question who the better team was out there in this game. And frankly, the score could have been a lot worse than it was. Give them a lot of credit for how they played in this one. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but yeah, I... But, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You, 